Hey guys, Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for the support. It is now officially fall now here in Seattle or I guess everywhere, but here in Seattle, it really turned quickly the weather from hot to cool. And a lot of my patient's skin is starting to really act up. Their psoriasis, eczema are starting to flare, which is very common with this transition in seasons. So it's really important to maintain our skin barrier. I like products with ingredients like ceramides, hyaluronic acid, any kind of emollient, any kind of humectant, like like urea. That's a great carotolytic that will help soften your palms and soles or thick skin of your elbows and knees, as well as draw in water. And so it's a carotolytic while being a humectant. So I really like urea. And so that's why urserin is just a great body moisturizer or even moisturizer for your hands and feet. So let's go over my fall skincare routine 2022. So our skin will have to change as the seasons change because it's a dynamic organ our skin is and it's the largest organ. And so it's really important to take care of it with traveling, going on the airport, plane and going to a new destination could really mess up your skin. I actually would never start a new skincare product when I come back from a trip because your skin really needs to find its equilibrium before introducing a new product or ingredient, especially retinoids or retinol. So today we're going to talk about a nice skincare routine. I'm not going to go over body moisturizers. I can do another video on that, but just for heads up, you know, Eucerin Advanced Repair Cream, very good for the body after a shower while your skin's damp. Lock in that moisture with a good moisturizing cream. CeraVe, Cetaphil, also great moisturizing creams as well. So let's go through my routine. Let's start off with a cleanser. So now that the weather is colder, we're getting our heaters on indoors. It's really pulling the moisture out of our skin. We're going to want to go with a nice hydrating cleanser. CeraVe and La Roche-Posay cleansers. You don't want to break the bank when it comes to your cleansers. And this will last you a very long time. So there's a Tolarian foaming cleanser that I love, that purifying foaming cleanser I use most of the year. But now with the weather just suddenly changing, I'm going to want a much hydrating cleanser. And this one has ceramide, has niacinamide, which is anti-inflammatory, helps regulate sebum production. I can also brighten the skin and your leave-ons, but here it's really nice in regulating sebum, but also trying to maintain your equilibrium, your skin's equilibrium. So I like La Roche-Posay a lot. If you have oily skin still in the colder weather, you can still do a oil-specific cleanser, whether it's foaming or I like gel cleansers. Neutrogena's Hydro Boost with Hyaluronic Acid Cleansing Gel. This one is fragrance-free. I know their water gel Hydro Boost is with fragrance. It pissed off a lot of people. This one, no fragrance, very gentle. I like this one a lot. My wife uses this as well. Great for removing dirt, oil, and also makeup. Big thumbs up for that in the morning to cleanse. If you wake up and your skin is dry, taut, tight, you can skip your cleanse, especially in the fall where we're not gonna be sweating as much and getting as much trapped sebum in our pores. But if you do wake up feeling pretty grimy, you should totally wash your face. But the most important cleanse of the day is at the end of the day, after you worked, you went to school, you played your sports, you wanna wash all that dirt, debris, trap sebum immediately. And so these are nice to do. You can still continue your cleansers with active ingredients like benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, like CeraVe has those really nice products with, you know, 4% benzoyl peroxide and their acne foaming cream cleanser or their CeraVe SA cleanser. Those are all great to do still in the fall and winter but maybe just do it every other day because you don't want to over dry your skin. After you wash your face, you want to apply a hyaluronic acid serum. If you're getting older like myself in your 30s and you want to plump your skin and hide those fine lines and wrinkles, put it on the damp skin, not dry, because you want to have that hyaluronic acid draw in that water and let it sit there and retain it. But you also have to put a layer of moisturizer over it to trap that moisture. So this is important to put on. And if you were to go to France, like I did in June with La Roche-Posay to go to the town of La Roche-Posay, you can get a big jumbo size How You Be 5 in Europe, which is amazing. I definitely have to bring this back. This is hands down now after I've tried so many different hyaluronic acid serums. My favorite hyaluronic acid serum, but the people who hate fragrance or are sensitive to it, stay away from this one. But I'm okay with fragrance. I don't like to demonize fragrance. A lot of my patients are fine with fragrance. I rarely find a true fragrance sensitivity on patch testing, but some people out there are, you know, sensitive to it. So I understand that. But just letting you know, I like this one a lot. It is great at plumping up the skin. I applied this before big events, before going to a gala in France at a castle or it's called Chateau. So I just cleanse my face and apply that onto your skin and boom. Really get it around the crow's feet, your forehead lines, 11th frown complex, we call the glabellar complex. It's good. 
Great stuff. I also picked up at the French pharmacy a How You Be 5 cream. Super happy that I grabbed this and it has that same smell. So if you want to double up, you can apply that over your serum. Go ahead, this nice lightweight cream you could apply. If you want something a little thicker, you know, go ahead and put on your favorite moisturizer, whether it's Vanna Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. I love Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. If you have very sensitive skin in the fall or winter, I like Aven a lot too, another French brand. This is their Soothing Skin Recovery Cream, which is in a nice pump, very convenient. And if you want to use that, a little thicker texture than a lotion, it's more of that cream texture, which you might want in the colder weather, like winter especially. And this is great for gentle skin. This brand is really focused on the consumers who have sensitive skin. I think that's really great. So this never fails. They have great sunscreen and their moisturizers are just excellent too. So this is a nice one to bust out now with the colder weather. So thank you, Event, for that. But you're probably wondering, where's the vitamin C serum? You can totally use your vitamin C serum in the fall. I like to use vitamin C still. If you wanna use vitamin C, I personally like to apply it after my hyaluronic acid serum because I really want that plumping effect, the hyaluronic acid going on to moist, damp skin. Some dermatologists will say, switch it and do vitamin C first and hyaluronic acid. There's no right or wrong answer, but there are a lot of times you can get a vitamin C serum with hyaluronic acid already in it, like Vichy's Lift Active Vitamin C. It's 15% ascorbic acid, and this has fragmented hyaluronic acid in it. So you kind of have two in one, and instead of doing your How You Be Five, you want to just do your Vichy Vitamin C, that's fine. Go ahead and do that alone and then apply moisturizer over it. Now, sunscreens. Let's talk about sunscreens because that's super important. I'm Dr. SPF on TikTok. And so let's talk about the different UV rays out there. So in the summer, we're hit with a lot of UVA and UVB. UVB is very prevalent in the summertime. That's a shorter wavelength. It gets filtered out by window glass, by clouds. UVC, not really relevant throughout the year because it really gets filtered out by, through our atmosphere. But UVB is UV bad. UVB really causes skin cancer, burns, so UV burns, UV bad, and that can really cause DNA disruption, kinking of our DNA leading to skin cancers, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, melanoma. Now UVA can also increase our risk of skin cancer, but it's also UV aging. It causes photo aging as well, and it can tan your skin. So the tanning booths will use UVA rays to tan your skin without the burn. Now this is a longer wavelength. It goes through window glass, so you should be technically wearing your sunscreen indoors if you're by window glass or if you're driving in a car, especially on a long road trip in the sun. Also throughout fall or winter, because it does go through clouds. It does go through clouds. So on a cloudy day, an overcast day, you should still technically be wearing sunscreen. And you want to find sunscreen that blocks UVA and UVB, but it also really focuses on UVA. And so the Asian beauty sunscreens are really good at their PA system, and they really test the UVA and UVB. UVB is correlating to your SPF, and you want to go SPF 30 and above. That's capabilities of filtering UVB. But if you want to look at UVA, the PA system invented by the Japanese, the PA one to four plus, you might see on Supergoop and some American brand, but in terms of Asian beauty, they're really good about mentioning the PA on their sunscreen. So I would say go for a PA four plus in the fall. And the fall, you know, here in Seattle is very variable. It's a sunny day. You can see some natural sunlight coming through my window here. And so you wanna have a sunscreen that's reliable with blocking UVA because UVA uh, leads to photo aging, which manifests as white spots, brown spots, red spots, sagging skin, wrinkled skin, stuff we don't want. And so Beauty of Jason, this is like really taking off on social media. It's a K-Beauty brand. I've talked about it before. This is the Relief Sun Rice Probiotics SPF. 50 plus PA 4 plus. I don't believe it's water resistant. It has great UV filters that we can't get in the US. It's chemical based. And so when it's chemical based, it rubs in beautifully. Okay, so that went on so nice. We got the PA 4 plus in that one. The other alternative you can consider I've talked about is a Japanese brand. It's the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. I like the number one over the number two. That just goes on more lightweight and sheer. The other one's a little bit more chalky, leaves more of a white cast. This one here is PA 4 plus as well as being SPF 50 plus. And so I just wanted to show you here. I wish this was bigger. That's my only critique of this. I've talked about my other YouTube video also uses chemical UV filters so it does blend in very nicely and this one just really disappears it's become one of my favorite Asian beauty sunscreens no sting you can put on your eyelids wear your sunglasses still to protect the skin around your eyes and your eyes itself reapplication is key if you're gonna be out I'm coaching flag football this fall season so you're gonna be outside the games and practices are quite long we're sweating outside washing off or sweating off the sunscreen pretty readily and so you should reapply every one to two hours if you're exercising and 
So Isentry is another K-Beauty brand, very nice. This is a hyaluronic acid, airy sun stick. And this is SPF 50 plus and PA 4 plus. So great for reapplication, reapplication over your arms, your ears, reapplying the neck. I like sunscreen sticks for reapplication quite a bit. And this just goes on really nice without that white cast as well. The other option you could consider that does have a little bit of the white cast would be Cetaphil, their stick, and also Neutrogena is a really nice one too. That's water resistant. You can consider those for reapplication. Now for the dry winter weather, Aquaphor or Vaseline. Great petroleum jelly for the lips because we're going to be getting really chapped lips this fall. And also with the weather change, some people are getting irritation around the nasal crease, the alar crease here. Get a little bit of that around the nose, your lips. Yeah, I like to go from my lips to my nose because staff likes to live around your nose and I don't want to be moving it down to my lips. Kind of a weird doctor thing. If you don't like a jar, you can always get the Aquaphor 2 where you just squeeze it out, go for it. In terms of retinol, our favorite topic here, I have the Rock Retinol Correction Line Smoothing. So you guys know I like Rock quite a bit. I've been using this since residency. Rock is the first retinol I've ever used as a dermatology resident in addition to my prescription tretinoin that I was on. The Night Retinol Cream has always been fragrance, but now they've made a fragrance-free version because some people didn't like the fragrance of the OG Rock Retinol. And so this one is really nice. So when you apply this at bedtime, use a pea-sized amount. You can apply it to your neck and your face as a little yellow tinge. You know, this is a small pea-sized amount. You can go maybe a little larger than that, but what you do is you put little dots in your face and then you connect the dots. I really like to focus on my nose because that's where us guys get a lot of blackheads. And so you really want to Make sure the pores and the nose get cleaned out with your retinol. Works on dark spots, hyperpigmentation, helps with really your complexion and tone. Keeps your pores clean like we talked about. and Helps with fine lines and wrinkles by increasing collagen production in your dermis. That's nice. You can put a little bit more in your neck, maybe a half pea size amount. You can moisturize over it. You can use your Aven, your Vanna Cream, your CeraVe PM Lotion, your Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. All those are great to use your, with your retinol. So that's one you could do. Another one. So Kiehl's, another great brand. A little bit pricier, but I think it's totally worth the price, especially their ultra facial cream. That's probably the one moisturizer I say I'll splurge on. Usually I say moisturizers don't break the bank, but that one is just so good. Now they had a micro dose retinol that's great for beginners, great for those in the, you know, starting a retinol in the winter when your skin's a little bit dry, more sensitive. But I just want to show off their other one that is a new one, which is really cool. It's their fast release wrinkle reducing night serum that I had to actually do a little bit of work. You have to take the bottom off, put the cap on, push the button, get all the retinol powder to mix in. And you can see it turned yellow. That's retinol right there. And so it's a nice little dropper serum. And you just drop, I like to put it on the back of my hand and you get a little pea size amount. And then you apply it to your face. I'm gonna put a little bit on your neck, on my neck here. And it's just very gentle too. And this one gets the retinol to, I believe, a 1% concentration. You know, if you have a little extra, you can rub on the back of your hands. So don't forget your hands in skincare because your hands and your neck really show your age. I'm an advanced user of retinol, so I can apply like a pea size amount to my neck and be okay. But for those who are a beginner and you wanna put some on your neck, maybe start off with a half pea size amount, like I mentioned before, to your neck. Then follow up with a moisturizer over this for sure on your neck because your neck skin's very sensitive. All right, guys. So that's going to be all I have for you today. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends who are into skincare. I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.